really interesting to reflect on the historical development of the Women in Cancer Research Group. The idea of an AACR committee that would support the professional development of women in cancer research was actually suggested to the AACR Board of Directors in the early 1980s. To our surprise, all four women on the board at that time voted unanimously not to pursue the formation of such a committee, feeling strongly that it was not necessary to have a committee focused on women's professional issues. Then in 1988, the organization Women in Cancer Research, or WICR, was formed outside of the AACR by a few women cancer scientists as an independent external entity. The WICR did accomplish some important initiatives within the AACR. AACR was its primary vehicle of communication with women scientists, acted as a vital facilitator for WICR for the first 10 years of its existence. WICR became an official constituency of the AACR in 1998. Thus, we are now celebrating 20 years of its accomplishments in the AACR. The important role of women in the AACR stems as far back as 1908, the year after our inception, when Martha Tracy became the first woman AACR member. She was mentored by one of our founding members, William B. Coley, and worked closely with him on the development of Coley's toxins, the first immunotherapeutic agent targeted at cancer. Maud Sly, presented the first talk by a woman at the AACR annual meeting in 1913. And in 1961, Thelma Dunn was elected by her peers as the first woman president of the AACR. the years after Dr. Dunn's presidency, there were five more women elected to this prestigious post. In the subsequent 17 years, eight women have been elected president, including two Nobel laureates, Gertrude Ellion and Elizabeth Blackburn. So, as you can see, the election of spectacular women scientists and physicians to the AACR presidency is accelerating and rightfully so.
AACR leads the way in the representation of women on boards and in leadership positions in the international oncology field. Women in Cancer Research Council allows us to identify, to form groups, subcommittees, committees, and also to work so well together and to have a nice networking environment. There are um, sessions uh, during the meeting, during the annual meeting, where uh, we get to interact with uh, professional women in the field. Um, one area that I've participated in actively during the ACR annual meetings is the Women in Cancer Research Mentoring Luncheon. I do feel that women um, owe it to uh, early career women to provide mentorship. Um, I had mentors that helped me and I feel like I have, I want to help other women along the way. The AACR does a wonderful job at supporting women and underrepresented minorities. It's incredibly inspiring. Uh, for all of us to see the AACR taking a grounds-up approach for the mentoring of the next generation of scientists. I think the AACR has been key to allowing women, women from all different backgrounds, uh, you know, minorities, majorities, uh, women from different uh, walks of life, to be able to promote their career. It's provided educational series um, at the annual meeting as well as at other opportunities, how to negotiate um, job opportunities, it's a networking opportunity. It, it really helped to give women a place within this very large and very important organization. I think we've also managed to provide role models for them, discuss the important issues with them, and empower them to take charge of their own careers. Young people entering into science deserve to have really good support and mentorship um, so that we use all the talent that we have, regardless of where this talent comes from, for the betterment of cancer research. I'm incredibly proud of the organization for taking uh, such a purposeful stance to see to it that we see more and more women and more and more underrepresented minorities, not only in AACR, but throughout the scientific community focused in cancer research. So I think the AACR sponsorship of women in cancer research is important not just for those women, but ultimately for the benefit of patients who will experience improved outcomes, better care. It is an enormous privilege for me not only to be a woman in this exciting field, but also to be in a position to help support the careers of women in the cancer field. By working together to achieve our dream of gender equity, we will be victorious in our goal of improving the lives of all cancer patients and finding more cures for cancer.